Good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Hey my friends, I have a special lesson for you today. Today we're going to go over our social and emotional learning. We have to develop that too. So we can develop our brain for reading and writing and math, but we also have to develop our bodies and our feelings and our heart. There's a lot of feelings that we are having inside of us right now. It's been kind of scary with this pandemic, hasn't it? I have a lot of feelings inside of me too. Well, today we're going to learn how to handle those feelings and to express them. And it's okay to have those feelings. You ready to have this lesson with me? Okay, let's get comfy together. This is my book. The Color Monster. Remember what that's called? That's called the... Let me hear you. The title. The big letters on the front are called the title. Let's go over the parts of the book. Can you do print concepts with me? Let's go over the part of the, part of the book. This, what's this part of the book? Oh, let me hear you. You're right. It is the front of the book. What's this part of the book? What's this called? Do you remember? It's the back of the book. Do you remember what this part of the book is? What's this part of the book? You're right. It's the spine. It's the side that holds all the pages. The Color Monster, a story about emotions. This is by Anna Lienas. I don't know how to say that last, that last name. That's okay. We can do our best, right? Sometimes names can be difficult. What does the author do? What's Anna's job? That author. What, what do authors do? Do you remember? Let me hear you. You're right. They write the words. And you know what? It looks like she has another job. She's also the illustrator. She drew all these pictures. You remember what the illustrator does? You got it draws the pictures, just like I said. Let's do it together. In this story, we're going to be focusing on emotions. So think about when the emotion comes up and they start talking about it. Think about how you feel with that emotion. See my shirt? This says kindness matters. And it's in order to be kind, you have to understand that other people can feel certain ways too. You have feelings in your body and people have feelings in their body. And we have to respect everybody's feelings, don't we? Because kindness matters. You have to be kind and caring to people. The color monster. This is the color monster. Today he woke up feeling confused and he doesn't know why. Are you all mixed up again, color monster? Oh, he sure does look mixed up. Look at all those colors. I think every color is a different emotion. Let's find out. Your emotions don't work well when they're all jumbled up. See all the emotions, all those different colors? They're all jumbled up. He doesn't know what to feel. He's feeling all sorts of things inside his body. You should try to separate them and put each one into its own jar. Let's try to make sense of how you're feeling, color monster. Look at all those jars. We can put each feeling into each of those jars so we can start sorting out how we're feeling inside. You can do the same thing that our color monster's doing. It's a great strategy when you're feeling lots of things. Oh, look. She says, come on, monster. She's taking him to go figure out what he's feeling inside his body. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. What color is that? You're right, it's yellow. 
Yellow is for the happiness inside you. And the happiness inside our color monster. Oh, I like being happy. It's one of my favorites. And it's okay to feel happy. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. Look at all that yellow. Look at all that yellow. Look at all that happiness. It's all the things the color monster likes to do to make him happy. This is sadness. It is lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like a sea, kind of like the ocean. What color is sadness? You're right. The color is blue. Blue is for sadness. So the little parts in the color monster that's blue is for sadness. He's sorting out the yellow for happiness and the blue for sadness. It's okay to feel sad too sometimes. It's okay to have those feelings. When you're sad, you hide. You want to be alone sometimes, right? You don't want to do anything, maybe. Maybe you just don't want to do anything at all. Except maybe cry. Sometimes you cry when you're feeling sad. It's okay to cry, color monster. It's okay to cry, my friend. Isn't it okay? It's okay to have those feelings inside you. Blue, the color of sadness. It's okay to feel sad sometimes. <gasps> it's a new one. This is anger. It burns red like a fire and it's hard to stamp out. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. What color is anger? What color is angry in our color monster? You're right, it's red. The redness inside our color monster is the anger he's been feeling inside. It's okay to feel angry. Sometimes everybody feels angry sometimes. Sometimes you want to take out your anger on others. But, but I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will just disappear. There's lots of different ways to handle anger. Sometimes kindness can help. A friend being kind to you can help you become calm again so that you're not so angry. Kindness, remember? We can be kind to our friends. It's okay for our friends to feel angry. We need to accept that they're angry and try to help them. Oh, it's a new one. This is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. What color is fear? What color is fear? Did you say gray? You're right. It's kind of gray and black. The color monster has a little bit of fear inside him too. He's afraid. It's okay to be afraid sometimes. It's okay to be fearful of things. When you're afraid, you feel tiny and you don't... You, you think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows, but I can help you find your way. Let's sort all of your gray, all of your fear out, color monster, and let's put it in the jars. Don't forget, we gotta put them in our jars. We gotta sort through our feelings so we know what we're feeling. It's okay to have feelings. It's okay to feel scared. We have a new one. This is calm. It is quiet like the trees and as light as green leaves, swaying in the wind. What color is calm? What color is calm? You got it, it's green. I like to feel calm when I'm relaxing. And sometimes when I'm sad, I get calm afterwards. Sometimes when I get angry, I get calm afterwards. Calm is a good emotion to have. It's okay to be calm. Your teachers usually want you pretty calm when learning, huh? Yeah, that's a good one. When you're calm, you breathe slow and deep. <sighs> can you breathe slow and deep like that? <sighs> that can help you calm down. And you feel at peace. And you feel calm and ready for your day. And you take deep breaths. It's okay to feel calm. Now you can 
rest, color monster. All your feelings are in the right places. You see them? See? Don't you feel much better? Now you know how you've been feeling. You've sorted them into your jars. And you've thought about why you felt each emotion. And you put them in there for later when you need them. You can always have lots of different kinds of feelings. It's okay to have any of those feelings. Uh-oh, I see you're feeling something new. You look different, Color Monster. Tell me, how do you feel now, Color Monster? How do you feel now? Can you guess? What color is that? Did you say pink? You're right, it's pink. I wonder what emotion that is. It doesn't have any words. Let's try to figure out what is the, the color monster feeling now? It's all pink inside. What's it feeling like? Did you say loved? It is feeling loved. It had a friend to help figure out what it was feeling. Because sometimes when you have a lot of feelings inside yourself, you have a hard time separating and, and understanding why you feel that way. If you have a friend, a friend can help you. Your mommy can help you, your daddy can help you, your brother or sister, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, your cousins. They can help you figure out your feelings. And that makes you feel loved when you feel helped. When they help you, do you feel loved when you get helped at home? I feel loved when I get helped at home. The end. To all my family and friends, to all the colors living together. The end. What I want you to do today is start reflecting on how you've been feeling. I know you miss your friends at school. I know you miss your friends. Maybe you're not playing with them outside like you used to. Maybe you miss some of your family you don't get to see every day. It's tough when you don't get to see your teachers too. You might have a lot of feelings inside you. Take the time to figure out how you're feeling. And it's okay to have any of those feelings. So let's make sure we talk to our family about how we're feeling. Use some of these words to help you. Because sometimes I get confused about how I'm feeling. So I can go back to this book and think, oh, I'm kind of feeling that way. Maybe I'm feeling sad today. And we can figure out what to do to help you not feel sad if you don't want to feel sad. You can feel happy. We can feel yellow again. Can you, can you get a piece of paper for me? And today what I want you to do is I want you to draw on your feelings. Can you draw your feelings? You can use some of these colors or you can make up your own colors. There's lots of feelings. Some of them I didn't even go over. But these are just some of the main feelings that we have inside our body. But there's other ones too, like shy. That one's not in here. What color would you use for shy? Maybe purple? That might be a good one. Or if you're kind of worried, if you're feeling worried, what color would worried look like? Maybe orange? Maybe if you write color with, with orange when you're feeling worried, that might help you understand that emotion. So there's more emotions and feelings than just the ones in this book. So take the time today and draw how you're feeling. And if you can, write some sentences about it. I'd love to see what you write. That would make me so happy to see how you're feeling today. Today I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling relaxed and I'm feeling calm. So that's yellow and green. How are you feeling? Can you tell me? Can you tell, can you tell your family? We want to know how you're feeling today. Make sure you talk to us because we love you. We want to hear how you're feeling inside your body. I love you, my friend, and I'm so proud of you. Make sure your parent sends me your, your photo of, of your work. I want to see what you're doing at home. Thank you, my friends, for connecting your feelings today and connect it to our, our literacy because text can, can be information. We learned a lot of information about feelings today. You can learn a lot from books, especially when it comes to your social and emotional health and how you're feeling inside your body. I love you, my friends, and I'm so proud of you for, for listening to me today and, and working out how you're feeling, and sorting them into jars and figuring out how you're feeling today. I love you. Have a good day. Hey, my friends, thanks for being a part of my lesson today. If you like this lesson, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom. That's the like button, okay? 
It's sure to make me smile. Hey parents, you wanna get your child ready for school? You don't want them to fall behind in school? Hit the subscribe button at the bottom. And in the description, you can also find my Facebook page. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about these videos, I'm more than happy to answer any of them. So hit the Facebook page and connect with me. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these videos. And I'm always gonna try to make them better and better. Also, you can hit the bell at the bottom so you don't miss any of the new videos. If you wanna help donate to my cause, if you wanna continue to see more free videos on YouTube for tons of families who need this, make sure you click the Patreon page and check out how you can donate and how you can help. Anything makes a difference. Huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for donating to this cause. It's allowing us to create even higher quality videos, more free videos for families like you who need this resource at home. We are utilizing kindergarten skill maps along with Common Core standards to make these lessons. And you are helping make a difference in children's lives all around the US. Thank you for everything that you've been doing.